Once upon a time in London, there was a man and a boy. Apparently, a man has nothing to do with the boy. Supposedly, the man is meant to be mature and stable, as the other way around, the boy is supposed to be childish and always ready to do dumb stuff. This story tells us otherwise, that a man and a boy can have more in common than in it, that it apparently seems. Nick Hornby's book about a boy goes way further than just a simple story. Above all, sends a message and makes a reflection about the personal and social conditions of the characters. Will is a selfish, lazy and only cares about picking up girls and going to parties. When he got home, he put a pet shop boy CD on and watched prison. Cell block H with the sound down. He wanted to hear people who didn't mean it. He wanted to watch people he could laugh at. He got drunk, too. He filled a glass with ice and powered himself scotch at the scotch. And as, it, and as the drinks began to take hold, he realized that people who meant it were much more likely to kill themselves than people who didn't. He could not recall having even the first urge to take his own life, and he found it hard to imagine that he ever would. Fiona did good works, and they had driven her mad. She was vulnerable, messed up, and adequate. We we'll had a system going here that was going to wisdom effortlessly to, his, to, the, to the grave. He didn't want to fuck it up now. Marcus is a 12-year-old boy who, has, who already has to deal with a handful of problems, such as bullying, suicide and other family problems. He's a society misfit, who, who tries to handle his problems in his own way. This book tells us a story about the two misfits who find each other and complete themselves together. This shows us how life can quickly turn around for the best and how we should always try to solve our problems and never give up. Every man is an island. Everyone is the protagonist of his own history, where the rest of the world appears in the in background. But sometimes the other people can change your life and no longer be in the second place.